you, uh, hello everyone. So I'm closing the neuromodulation session, but in fact, I will be talking about uh, BBB opening, uh, pharmacological agent in neuromodulation. Um, and I should also mention before I start that this work has been done mainly by Charlotte Constant, who got a PhD a few weeks ago uh, in collaboration with the team of Jean-François Aubry. Okay, so we heard a lot of great talk today about the BBB uh, opening and uh, the relationship with the action of uh, focus suppressants. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, great talk has been given, even more, much more precise than what I'm presenting. Of course, I should mention that uh, we have been uh, very inspired by a lot of study that has been done in small and large animals, uh, including uh, you know, uh, rats and even macaque uh, uh, that has been done by uh, different groups. So uh, we are part of these uh, studies. Okay, so why have we done this study? Um, well, we try to respond to two questions. The first question is, could we estimate functional consequence of BBD opening in non-human primates? And second, I will try to show you some contribution of neuromodulation effect on cortical activity during BBB opening and try to distinguish this effect to pharmacological action. All right. So um, how do we did our experiment? So the, the way we did it is we record VEP uh, re uh, activity, so visual evoked potential of anesthetized monkey uh, while we were um, um, uh, activating uh, um, and opening the BBB with a, a, a focus ultrasound system. So the key point uh, is the time uh, line of the experiment we ran. And I think this is, uh, we think this is important. What we did is we record visual evoke potential at different uh, epochs uh, in this experiment. So we record um, visual evoke potential uh, with, uh, in a baseline condition, so nothing was done to the animal. Then we record visual evoke potential uh, after first uh, stimulation, but without microbubble. Then we did the first uh, stimulation with microbubble, and we record again the visual evoke potential. And then finally, we record a visual evoke potential with, uh, after BBB opening with GABA injection. Okay, so we also performed SHAM experiment in which we did the same, exact same study. We record VEP recording, but at different time to control for anesthesia uh, length, but without uh, any uh, modulation or BBB opening. Okay, so uh, to uh, reveal and locate the, the, the uh, and, and just show that we were capable to open the BBB, uh, what we did is we did a fMRI uh, scan uh, with a gadolinium injection before op uh, BBB opening and after BBB opening. This has been shown in many talks today. What we, uh, you can see in this uh, uh, picture is that the fact that the contrast was changed strongly in the region of uh, primary uh, motor cortex and we were covering quite a large part of the visual cortex. Okay. All right, so now if we look at the visual evoke potential, if you're not familiar with this, uh, what you get in is time evolution of uh, micro voltage recorded in the skin of the animal. Uh, and what you could see is uh, if you compare a baseline uh, measurement that has been done uh, without any modulation uh, and then GABA injection, what you could see is you see a very strong uh, changes of, uh, of activity or rec uh, reduce uh, uh, potential. Uh, what you see here in this plot is average activity of one session, one session sorry, with a confidence interval in, uh, in light red. Okay, so, and we do not observe such modulation in some condition. No, going to the point I was talking, oh, okay, one more point is if we increase the GABA dose, we see a strong relationship between the GABA dose increasing and change of amplitude. That has been described in, in rat experiment. Okay, now coming to the point. Um, so what we did is we compared the effect of um, the contribution of neuromodulation according to these three stages. So after neuromodulation, after a BBB opening, and after a BBB opening and GABA ejection. Now what you could see on the left is the time uh, uh, we were looking at. So first we were looking at very early modulation of the VEP. And if we look at very early response between zero and 100 milliseconds, what you could see is the main contribution is the GABA. So the GABA has almost 90% of the effect on the modulation. So the early response that is modulated uh, after BBB opening in GABA injection is due to the GABA. What is interesting is, we, and if you look later on, the, the, the response after 100 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds, then it's more half-half. So there is uh, an effect of the GABA for sure, uh, about uh, 48%, but there is also strong effect on, of the neuromodulation. 
And when you look at the later response uh, between 200 and 300 milliseconds, then you get uh, almost no contribution. It's important because you get contribution due to the anesthesia at this stage. And so just to conclude, so we've seen, we have shown some functional consequences of BBB opening in non-human primate, and we have tried to distangle the neuromodulation effect of cortical activity during BBB opening and pharmacological agent. And this is it. Thank you very much. much. All right, I'd like to open questions from the audience. Yes, Nathan. Hi. You, you were targeting primary visual cortex. Mm -hmm. So in the monkey, it's, it's quite large. Do you, do you think that the one, did you just target in the one location or did you try to cover the whole, the whole cortex? So, well, I mean, that's... Uh, very, I mean, of course, this is a, a key question. I mean, we, we try to uh, induce a large, uh, a large effect, at least for this first uh, study. Um, the, the only thing I could say is we, tr we try now to quantify a little bit better the, uh, the, you know, the distribution of the gadolinium and see mm -hmm. how much we covered. But um, you know, the PEV re um, VEP response is not very localized uh, right. also. Right. So the fact that we induce change in VEP in my view means that we cover probably uh, a region that is large enough at least to cover the fovea uh, uh, region uh, and, 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 and to, be, to, to answer more precisely to your question then you, we will need to target smaller, um, uh, smaller region and do a mapping uh, probably not with VEP response because it's, it's not specially right. precise anyway so but uh, yeah, so maybe, I mean, maybe with doing uh, electrophysiological uh, recording uh, uh, to really map uh, the, the effect. Thanks, for a very nice study. Thank you. Any other question from the audience? I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. So uh, based on your uh, gadolinium contrast T1 image, uh, I think I noticed a um, bit of a signal enhancement from the superior part of the cerebellum. Uh, do you have any uh, thought on that? Uh, maybe related to the attention modulation that you might. Well, I mean, I mean, so, uh, so I guess your question is: uh, Did we um, also <coughs> affect or uh, uh, add effect possibly in the cerebellum? Uh, I, I could not. I mean, I mean, I could not. I mean, I mean, I could not. Um, say, I mean, for sure we have no effect. I mean, clearly we, we have seen that. This was the session where we get the largest responses. So it was almost 40% change. Uh, if we look, uh, look at the visual cortex compared to before, mm -hmm. a change of, due to the gadolinium. Um, some session we got smaller region when the cerebellum seems to be not uh, 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 at, uh, at uh, change or mod modulated. Uh, to be honest, I mean, the, the final goal would be to do it in awake monkey because we have tasks that we can distinguish between, you know, visual cortex and cerebellum, for example. And so it would be a real functional test to see whether we modify <coughs> visual response, for example, or, you know, visual mapping, but not cerebellar function for motor response, for example. Uh, so I, I, I cannot completely respond to your question. It's possible that clearly uh, cerebellum was also uh, uh, It's very nice work still. All right, uh, any other question from the audience? So uh, this concludes the today's neuromodulation uh, session and uh, thank you very much for the speakers for nice talks. Thank and you. see you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah.